Hi friends! Today is going to be my try a chapter. If you were here in January or April, you may know that I have been doing kind of this combination of a TBR jar plus my book haul rewind that I was doing last year and also a try a chapter tag. It's a fun time basically. The books that I picked for April which I say picked lightly because there were only three to choose from, were Heirs of Fate, The Devouring Grey, and The Princess and the Fangirl. And the book that I chose to read was The Princess and the Fangirl. And I did read this and I ended up giving it a 4.25 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you want to know my full thoughts, I will link my wrap up in the description box below as well as in the cards. And you can check it out there. But I did read the book. So win for me. So for this month, I don't remember the number of books, but I did a couple of weeks ago so that I wouldn't, it's, it's going to be as much of a surprise for you as it is for me, except I will probably remember them as I pull them out. But in my planner, I tucked them in, I wrote them all down and tucked them in to this little spot here in my planner. So I'm going to pull those out and we're going to go over them together. Last year in my book haul rewind, I was going over the books that I had bought in that month for the three years prior. So for 16, 17, and 18, I was going through the books that I had hauled and telling you what I had and had not read yet. Because I didn't want to do that again this year, it felt repetitive. So now I'm taking the books and the ones that either are where I'm at in a series or anything that I could actually read next and putting in a jar, pulling out three and using them for a try a chapter. The books that I have for this month that will be going into the vessel to which we pulled from are The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead, The Star Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi, Teardrop by Lauren Kate. I just wrote Wandla on here but I know it's the second book in the Wandla trilogy. I think that's Hero for Wandla. The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan which will probably destroy me. Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston why I just pronounced that so weird, I don't know. And American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Everybody's in there. One, two, three three winners. <laughs> the Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan, Wandla, and The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Okay, I'll be right back then. Let's get those and we'll go over what they're about. God, I really need to organize these better. Listen y'all, I am already crying thinking about reading this book and I don't know if I'm in an emotional place that I can handle it. My dog knows that I'm crying already. Flash is already here. The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan is a collection of short stories and essays by Marina Keegan, obviously, who tragically died five days following her graduation from college. She has been published in The New Yorker, in The New York Times, has been known to write some of the, some very beautiful things. And I definitely want to support that and I want to read them. I just don't know that I can emotionally handle it. The foreword written by one of her teachers is brutal because I know I've at least read that much before. Yeah, I'm crying thinking about it. It's fine. It's totally fine. That's what you come here for, right? Is to watch me cry. So yeah, I am I I don't know if I'm emotionally capable to handle this. Also I don't know if this really works for a try chapter because like it it's short stories and essays and, and things like that but so it looks like there's about 20 different stories in here so what I may do is just go ahead and put this in my TBR pile like the one that I am working on actively and go ahead and just read one of these every once in a while because they're short and that way I'm not just like sitting and thinking about it every you know for a long period of time and maybe just when I feel like I can emotionally handle it, read one until it's done. I feel like that's probably the best way to handle this particular book. So to the other two, that one I'm going to work on regardless. So then my book that I'm going to read for the month will just be 
between the other two. The first is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. To be completely honest, I don't know what this series is about. I just bought it because it's Rochelle Mead and I really loved Vampire Academy and Bloodlines. So I went for it. I also really enjoyed the single story um, Soundless. So I just went ahead and bought this. I'm, I'm sure it's it's got something to do with like royalty and, and pretty girls and there's probably some political drama and there's probably a romance. That's my guess. A Hero for Wanla by Tony DiTerlizzi. This is book two in this series. I read book one in like 2018 I think. They're mid-grade. They are really good stories. They have some great artwork in them. Uh, the chapter titles are just really pretty artwork. They're a really quick read even though they look pretty chunky. The story follows Eva Nine who is a human and she has always lived underground in this little bungalow and she has a, a droid that takes care of her and she has always wanted to leave her little home and go out into the real world and find other people like her and she doesn't really know if they exist but she wants to try to find them and the first book follows her venturing out into the real world and seeing what's going on in the real world and trying to find others like herself. It is as I said mid-grade but a very interesting story. It has a lot of political things as well and a lot of things that talk about society. It's kind of post-apocalyptic. It's just an interesting story that I really enjoyed the first book of but because it's mid-grade I don't feel like I had to pick it up immediately and so I've just kind of been waiting until the time was right to get to this too. So I'm going to read a chapter of this and a chapter of The Glittering Court and then I will let you know what I plan to continue to read for May. So of these two I'm gonna go with Wanla. I mean I know what the story is obviously because it's the second book in the series already so I would have had read the first chapter anyway but this is it's another teenage girl being forced to marry somebody that she doesn't want to marry. Her family has all this prestige and, and royalty but they're out of money and so she has to marry a distant cousin to get his money and give him a better title and I just can't be bothered. Maybe one day I'll want to read it. Maybe one day I'll, I'll really need some Rochelle Mead in my life but I just I can't be bothered right now to read more YA drama with the royalty and the... I, just, I can't do it. I can't... I physically cannot do it. Just can't. Look at Eva Nine. Isn't she the cutest? Like in the very first chapter of this it picks up where the last book ended but you know she's met another human now and she's asking him these questions and you're getting more information about the world and the story and it's just so interesting and I need to read this. Yeah. So this is going to be my pick for the three. Oh, are you going up here? That's okay too. Look at me. No, I don't want the kiss. Flash decided he wanted to sit next to me, so so there's a flash in my lap. It's fine. It's totally fine. Quit. Quit. I don't want the kisses. I don't want the kisses. Stop it. Stop the kisses. I don't want them. As I said before, I am going to pick this up and read through some of these when I feel like I can handle it as well, but I think this is going to be my book pick for May. So I have to read this during May or unhaul it. So I guess that means I need to read it because I'm enjoying the story. That's all Flash and I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything else I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Why are you pushing me off the seat with your big butt? Why?